and you lay off a few people. You know? Right. You know? You lay off a few people. You see, so that's what that thing is about. They had to pay up. Okay. And now they're doing it in installments. You see? So once they pay up, Barack Obama is Queen Elizabeth. He's related to Queen Elizabeth. You see what I'm saying? Once they pay up, you see them saying things will be all right, but that's the way the thing is going down. But they get everybody in the drama. You see what I'm saying? You see? But that, but like you said, that might have been one of the things because they did mess up the Iraq thing. And they decided they were going to have to do it eventually, but they were decided, they decided that look, well since you, since you messed it up, you got to pay. Now it's interesting here because it came, it didn't come down on Barack Obama's watch, it came down on Bush's watch. And he came out before the public and asked for that money. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, this is the games, the games, the games. <laughs> That's all it is. That's why I don't focus on that. Because what it is, it's a game to get you off your agenda. You see? To get you off your agenda. Okay, we got to move on to the next caller, but uh, mm-hmm. Baba New, I really appreciate you calling And brother, in. I appreciate it, man, and, and I've already done gun on the bullhorn, and I passed it to several scholars, you see, over the years, and so uh, you're going to be hearing from them to get the book. All right. Brother. Thank okay. you, brother. Okay. Peace, brother. I'll speak with you later. Okay. We're going to take our next caller at... Uh, from the 216 area code. Caller, are you there? Ask anybody that they come up with that number. I need to know. Oh, that's 300, 300 million. Huh? How much? 300 million. 300 million a month? Yes, sir. You see, now, so now to ask the next person to get a calculator and find out what that is a year. And then we'll see that all this stuff they're talking is the games. See, that was spiritual because they pissed Jimmy Carter off. And you see what I'm saying? Every time they piss him off, you see what I'm saying? Um... If you piss them off, then every night they never come your ally. It's not like that Masonic thing with the Prince Hall, the, the, the Boston Tea Party, and, and all this kind of stuff. They, they, they sent Prince Hall's, the black people's Mason's charter over before they sent the white people's Mason's charter because the white people was at war with them. So every now and then, as a, as a family fight break out, they'll go to the enemy, you see. So despite the family, they got the black, the Prince Hall got the charter now, and then when the white charter came over, the first one, they threw it in the river with the Boston Tea Party. You see. But every now and then we gain when they get in a little family fight. Yeah, <laughs> give, me a, give me a call. <laughs> yes, sir. We got a caller from the 216 area code. Caller, are you there? Yeah, yeah, what up? How you doing, brother? Pretty good, pretty good. I'm a D. I had a couple questions from Cleveland. He yeah. saw my family and the guys, but uh, I just needed some beginner books on melanin, alchemy, on metaphysics. Well, to like, start, well, to start with the um, the classic book, get African Origins of Biological Psychiatry. African Origins of Biological Psychiatry by Rick Brother Richard King, and we want to send the energy out because Richard King just had um. Two strokes on a heart attack about two, two weeks ago. Mm. But he still, he, he, he gonna pull through but get him the energy. But you wanna first get the book on Melanin and get the definitive text, African Origins of Biological Psychiatry on Melanin. Alchemy, I would say a good book to get is a book called The Modern Alchemist. It's called The Modern Alchemist. Um, the guy's name is, um, um, it's two people. Um, it's uh, Richard and Juna, Richard and Jonah Miller, it's a, a husband and wife probably. Richard and, excuse me, Iona, I-O-N-A Miller. Richard and Iona Miller, I want you to get this one, because the alchemy that we're concerned with is the personal one in the body. So you want to get the modern alchemist, a guide to personal transformation by Richard and Iona Miller. Excellent one. What was the other one? The other book? Uh, metaphysics. Well, that's a that's a broad stroke. That's a, that's, a, that's a broad stroke. Metaphysics is a whole library of stuff. So, um, let me give you a general. Let me give you something general that you you might be able to uh, um, deal with something general. 
Um, matter of fact, if you, you want to start off with, with anything on, on magic. So, uh, okay. um, let's see, a, a good book is in print on magic. Uh, I know that there's a book called The Magician by Philip Pooper, but I think it's out of print. So you want to get his other book called, um, um, what's see, his other book is called, uh, um, I think it's called Everyday Magic, uh, something like that. By, um, but look up um, anything by Philip Cooper, um, um, and uh, I'm, I have to go on this bookshelf and look at all these books. But start with some of those types of things. If I can think of a good little book that you can get into, uh, like a primer, um, like a primer, something you can get into to start off with. I'm, I'm trying to look now. Um, um, something that, that, that just not so, um, 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 tedious. Um, but I think it's called, um, I think it's called Everyday Magic by Philip Cooper, a natural magic. One of those, uh, you want to deal with. Um, now if you can get your hands on The Magician, that is his, is, 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 a, is, a, is a, a, one of the best books and the most simplistic books written on the subject. Is one by the magician by Philip Cooper. You might can go on Amazon and get it, but it is worth having. So just just start with those right now. Cool, cool. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Thank you, brother, for joining us. I think it's called ba- the Philip Cooper book is called Basic Magic. Basic okay. Magic. That's the one that might be in print still. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. thank brother. You. Thank you for calling in. All right. We're going to take our next caller, Brother Bobby. We have our caller from the 773 area code. Caller, are you there? Yeah, well, peace, peace. Yeah. Peace, brother. Peace. How are you? I'm all good. What's going on, Bobby? How you feeling, man? How's it going? All um, right. All right, all right. Um, just a real quick question. Uh, m- me and, and my mate, my, uh, we both have had our first daughter uh, mm-hmm. two weeks ago. Uh, two weeks today, as a matter of fact. Yeah. And... Um, both of us, as far as psychic energy goes, just uh, kind of, you know, it's it, it kind of strong. I mean, we, it's, it's quite uncanny. I mean, we both have the uh, out-of-body experiences. We both have the, the the issues where we can damn near read each other's thoughts. All types mm-hmm. of uh, things yeah. going on there. What I want to know is, is that will that naturally be stronger in our daughters as we both, you know, we both had a... More likely at, at, this, at this late in the day? Exactly. Okay. That's exactly what's happening. That whole indigo children concept, you best believe that that, when it comes to us, that is definitely a thing. Um, you know, um, I will say if you can, um, um, you can keep them off most sugar. That's yes. the key. Yes, definitely. The magic to it is something real basic. Okay. Um, uh, you know, uh, keep them off sugar. If okay. you can keep them off sugar, then you can develop stuff and, Tell them to eat more spirulina, cause I um um you know my children my, not my children my nephews um they've never they've never had sugar in, in their life and they was eating that spirulina and they was going to the moon and stuff so but basically wow. the, the, one of the things to do is to keep them on sugar and now this is a remedy that everybody should get down with is this you don't really have to worry about it. before I said that you really don't have to worry about them uh, most definitely. Uh, most definitely, and this is another thing you need to do. When they get a certain age, ask them questions. Okay. You see, not you. Te- you ask them questions. I told you about my my my, my brother was going to hit the fantasy fantasy five, and he asked the little boy to draw out the best numbers he knew. He only knew about a couple of numbers, but he drew out five numbers, and he didn't go and play it, and was sitting there because he got in a conversation on the phone and didn't run out to play the lottery. And was on the phone, and the fantasy five came up, and he had the damn number. That was a that was five hundred thousand dollars, and he sat there and cried. But the little boy gave it to him. So ask them for answers because if they're coming through, they're already grown. And then another thing, real quick, uh, is that it seems like she already communicates to us anyway. Like when she cries, you know, normally people that don't have that ability, they they look at crying as. But well, they know crying is to be um, a way of the baby communicating. But uh, one day she was crying, and I was trying to explain to her grandparents. Uh, it just hit me like like it was like a picture in my mind. From-